Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Huff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Dang, man, SpongeBob's never going to get his license. So, what's up guys, we're doing 2 one you back to some more Spongebob Squarepants, well for Bikini Bottom. So I, um, don't have my face cam on today just because of, I've been, do I've been busy doing some work, and I'm still doing some work right now. So, no face cam, no spoilers, just all skill. So, we could go and do Spongebob's new, um, move right now, but we got some new enemies here. These guys! I forgot my book at school. There's something bot. There, I think Chomp bot or something. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I forgot my book where I have all the enemy names at school. And like the enemy names fit the character. The enemy's name fit the um enemies. So I'm upset. Well, at least I know the other enemy in this game by heart. First of all, we got this statue here. So, we got this cannon back here, and we want him to aim at us. So he can blow up that statue, blow up the MT keys, and then we can just hit the button. Alright, alright. Seriously. I'm right here. Thank you. I don't know how you missed all the... I don't know how you missed all the other times, but you... Glad this looking this pair. Mmm, I'm getting rid of that cannon. Shoot me, I dare you. Oh, come on with that. Thank you. Goodbye. No. You hit all the buttons, the cannon is dead, and we get a golden spatula. I don't know how you kill a cannon. I meant broken, but whatever. Alright, so we got our first golden special of the day. We need one more so we can actually go to the boss fight. Well, the um, mid set. We need one more so we actually beat like a third of the game right now. But, um, as you guys could probably notice, we had a new, like, looking object in this area. So, I should just go out and... Is that Lagoon? It is. What the heck's happening right now? Okay. Kill that jellyfish. I'm just gonna say this right now. Our new character we can play as is Sandy. So, um... Yeah. Again, back to what I'm saying about how characters work in this game. It actually is like not really good how only Spongebob can get upgrades. And they fixed that in the next Spongebob game that I'm gonna do a let's play on, but for right now, wow game. But anyways, as the game was trying to tell me from before, that was the SpongeBall. This robot is called G Glove. The best way to deal with him is to bubble bounce him from above. So this is the only—I think this is this the only time. No, not the only time. It's 
one out of the few times where the game will actually tell you the enemy names of the um the names of the enemy. So that's a little bit of insulting right there. But we go over here to get this um steering wheel. I didn't even know I picked up the first one. But anyways, this is a sponge ball. Basically, SpongeBob turns into a ball. His speed increases, but he can't attack. You hit a button, and then he goes back to normal. Simple as that. I need that sock. I just checked. I am right. His name is Chompot. Hey. Okay. So, um, anyways, I can't do anything there. I want to jump up here because it's like a little spring. Or trampoline, it's more like a trampoline in the spring. I just played Sonic way too much. Um, and that was all. Okay. And I can just miss entirely. Anyways, let me just hit this button real quick. Where is the gate? And then I roll my way through here. The good thing about this is once you hit through, go through a gate, it doesn't close unless you die or something, I believe. But anyways, if that ever happens, we can just use this. Open up a shortcut. And we got another switch over there. Can you... Oh, what the heck? Oh, camera, please. Oh, what the heck? I'm trying to turn off my phone. I want to destroy that thing as fast as possible. I'm gonna jump down here first before I do anything because there's some shiny objects here. Okay, this these were all just ones. What the heck, game? There's another one right over there. Literally, it cost one. Is this timed? Okay, no, it's not timed. But we get to do a little trick here. Woo! Bounce! Checkpoint. Used to destroy that gate. Boom. Done. So yeah, I am right. These guys are called chomp bots. They do throw up a, like, a little bit of um cloud of smoke that does hurt you too. So be careful of that. G gloves. Probably one of my favorite enemies in this game. Um, what else? We haven't gotten to the character change yet. I'm just gonna hit this right now so we can stop that. Cause that's just gonna start throwing stuff at us, so I don't even want to deal with that right now. Whoops! I don't even know if I need. Who would do such a thing? Thanks, little buddy. I don't even know if I messed up or anything. I want to take this trampoline. Got some slippery platforms here. Is that it? Okay. Did I need you for anything? I probably did. Oh well. Hold up, I see you. No shiny object left behind. Even though I probably left by like millions of them already. Anyways, we got that sock. I don't even know how many socks are in this. Oh, nine socks. Okay. There are nine socks in this area, so be aware of that. Ah! No, I don't want to feed... You know, I'm going to feed the clam. No clams left behind. That's the... That's the, um... That's the, that's the message here. No clams left behind. Oh! They don't chomp at you, though, so that's kind of... That's not a good information to bestow upon us. Oh, I forgot about the generator here. Move out my way! In the loop. Kill. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. 
Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Wow! What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. We get to play as Sandy Cheeks. SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick Star, Sandy Cheeks. Oh uh, my gosh, the godly trio. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm going to open up this box. I'm not going to go and get Sandy yet. So I do want to explore a little bit more from the SpongeBob portion of this area. Because who knows, maybe there's actually a little secret that I could do right now. I'm just going to break him right now. Open that up for a little shortcut back. And I think that's all the shortcuts I'm actually able to do here. <laughs> I say that as soon as I... I say that while I pass through one right there. Um... So, I'm going to jump up here. Not change to Sandy yet. And get the... Oh, this... Why can this... Fall, I dare you to... Okay, never mind. I welcome you guys to Sandy! Probably my favorite character to play as, is, play as in this game. Well, from me not actually completing the game, she is actually my favorite character. So, Sandy... Thanks, game. So, the difference between Sandy's playstyle is that... First of all, she has a karate chop, unlike everybody else. She has a double jump and a little hover ability here. And pretty soon we get to see her, uh, her other ability with that rope soon. But a little something you guys get to know right here. You guys should get to see it right now. Sandy can lasso enemies. Break open these right here so I can get through easily. So, for any, like, tough platforming areas, you can just use Sandy to get done with them. I'm gonna jump up here. Get over here so I can get this sock. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Yes. It's four golden spatulas. I will beat this game 100% no matter what happens. I don't even care if I do have to cut through some stuff. And the thing about Sandy's hover is that it does take like a limited amount of time before it actually wears out, so be careful around that. Um, let's see here. That looks kind of impossible. Jump over here. Get shiny objects. Objection. I think I just got sidetracked right there. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't. Shortcut. Alright. So, Sandy's platforming actually makes the game way easier now. So, once you get Sandy done, and once you get Sandy down, she's just dirt cheap easy. I think Sandy has more range in her attacks, and the lasso basically counts towards that. Lasso destroys Tiki's immediate instantly, so be mindful of that. Um, let's see here. And now we get to swing from hoops. I've already shown that we can lasso enemies. So this guy is just done. If I can find and open a box, that would be nice. Boy. Open up that weird shaded box. There's a golden spatula over here over there, but I'm going to use the lasso to break that cannon. And so I can get another one of these steering wheels. 
So I don't believe all the steering wheels are in the same area. So I do believe we do have to go up to get the, more to get the rest of the steering wheels. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on getting that last sock and then move on to the next area. And got him. And now we have gotten our golden spatula. All right, I have no idea. That does not taste like pomegranate. I'm drinking like pomegranate juice. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. have blocked off that building and I can't do all those fancy moves you and Spongebob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree doll. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Hey, Larry's a buddy right now. I'm gonna open this box before anything else happens because the way back is tedious. All right, but anyways, I can't jump up there. Get this, and now, new enemy. This guy name is Chuck. Basically, he chucks missiles. I think the thing about Chucks is that they have like a certain distance they stay away from you. So I think they if you take too long to attack them, they just move away from you, Tartar. -tar. Got those aerial kicks. I might be wrong about that though, because I, I never really try to competitively fight Chucks before because I see them, I just try and get rid of them because they just brought me a lot of trouble when I used to play this game. Did I just open a box? Hold up. Boy. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like, yo. Oh my gosh, I just realized it. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> oh my god. I hate myself. I didn't mean to feed him. I just wanted to speed through the section. I don't even know what this does. Oh, this is timed. Anybody want a golden spatula? I almost failed right there. I can just say it's right here. This is actually pretty difficult. Go! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. That is actually really difficult because if you mess up once, I'm pretty sure you cannot come back and do this. You have to, you have to hit the button again. But anyways, another box that can take us back over there. I have no idea what this is about. I need SpongeBob for this. Oh, speaking of Spongebob. Here's a section I never knew about. I didn't even know you can go back here. What are you? What are you? Stop. 
missing. <laughs> Oh, a sock. Okay. Honestly, I did not know about that. How nice. Kind of see that box where Larry's at. Did I not hit a teleport box? I encounter two boxes that don't indirectly connect to each other. Okay. Is that why I've been dying a lot here? Because when I used to play this game, I remember this stage being like the hardest I've ever dealt with. Tartar. Ow. Robot. You get boyed to death. <laughs> Boy, I'm not. I'm not gonna unsee that now. I just cursed myself. There's that. Oh, thank God for grabbing ledges. There's the sock. I think I just skipped a whole section right there. Um, no, I didn't. Anyway, so we got this treadmill right here. Break you and break you. I don't know if I went the right way or not. Yeah, this is the right way. There's no other way. <laughs> the path in this game is quite linear, so. Jesus! Wow. Wow. Who died? Another generator just another generator just ended. I just said ended. Another generator just got destroyed. I don't know what the heck I Yeah, I forgot that only sponge I can attack those guys. Well sneak up to those guys. Bop. And automatic section. Gotta love automated sequences. You know I do. I have to put down the I get to put down the controller for once. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. So they don't move away for you. Okay, that's nice to know. Makes a much easier enemy. Jesus. Like, literally, thank God for ledge grabbing, man. That's just crazy. You know how many times I would have died right there? Did those guys spawn back? They did. Oh, who's shooting me? Who is shooting at me? Who, who, want, who, who wants this? You. I was trying to... Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm actually having trouble with the enemies in this game. It might be because I'm playing with Sandy. Oh, uh, wrong button. I guess the thing I can say that I don't like about the lasso is um how much the um time is, like how much the wind up time is, because you can just be. Where, where does that go? Wait, you go here when you fail. Oh, you do. Okay. Why did they put that there? They can just have that little slide down there. Whatever. But yeah, the thing I don't really like about Sandy's lasso is that it takes a while for it to actually activate because there's like a little wind-up time. Hello, Chuck. 
and that wind up time just messes me up because you can just oh my god that air kick you can just be running past an enemy and then you have a G glove like you have like two G gloves right next to you right this only happens with G gloves because they're hard to attack when you do not stand standard stuff and it's like it's really it's just really annoying not fun to deal with anyways we got a box we got stealth and we got a sock and <laughs> murder I'm just making stuff up on the go now. <laughs> we have a few more socks here. I can't believe this is actually the um first episode into this. Actually, never mind. Are you ready, kids? Set, go. Welcome to a gauntlet. Bop. So really, it's gonna be generators here that spawn enemies, and once you beat the generators and kill all the enemies, we get to go down to the next level. I kind of actually like the idea of gauntlets like this because um, it actually introduces like a big challenge in this game. See how, see how well you can defeat the enemies here. Um, the only reason why I'm standing on these platforms right here is just because um, okay, hello, I need to concentrate for this guy. The only reason why I stand up here because I believe, if I remember correctly, there's a sock here that you can miss. So I want to make sure I get that before anything else. Where is he? No, you're done. You're done. Is another one? Oh. Jump right here. Alright, I'm actually gonna go over here, activate this guy. Please. Dang it! Oh, I still hit them. Oh, that's nice. So I was wrong about okay, I was wrong about the um sock. I, I was wrong about the sock, but here's the final phase of the gauntlet. Literally got enemies from all over the place right here. Can't believe I haven't destroyed you. I have to I have to break these guys first. Get you. Ow! Jerks! Boom. Ouch. Screw you. Come on. I died! Where are you going? You're... Oh my god, that was stupid! <sighs> 18. Hit that. And then there's another sock. My throat hurts from yelling. Let me go all the way back down. Because there's no reason for us to stay up there now. So now, we're back at downtown. You'll have to open this door from the inside. So, since I believe this is all I can actually do here, I'm going to end off this episode right here, and then next time on SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle of the Bikini Bottom, we're going to be continuing on, hopefully with face cam, to the next session section of this area. So, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the notification button down below if you want to get notified anytime you see more of these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my gamers!